Um, I don't know whether it's Amazon um, starting to really steal share. The Amazon's ad business is certainly growing significantly. Or, you know, Sundar alluded to um, unspecific changes in, that they're making to their, to, uh, to their ads platform around machine learning and, and AI. And I don't know whether there are some sort of initial tests that they're running uh, and, and starting to train machine learning models on that are causing some of the deceleration. It's, it's, it, it, it was hard to tell. They weren't very specific about it, but it, but it was, certainly was surprising. You haven't heard much from advertisers out here about uh, Google Ads starting to not perform or perform uh, more poorly than they used to. You haven't heard anything like that. So, so it's, it's, it's pretty difficult to tell what's going on, and they, and they weren't specific about it. Yeah, the company spent a lot of time talking about the cost of uh, foreign currencies. Uh, did you get enough of a, a clear picture about why they're seeing that deceleration in the clicks and things like that? Did, do you feel like you came away with a better understanding? Uh, no. Uh, and, I, and I think you'd be hard pressed <laughs> to find anyone, uh, anyone who did. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Dick, I mean, saying that they weren't specific about it is the exact complaint from the sell side today. They argue that management yeah. uh, talked about uncertainty in prior quarters, basically didn't really give you a whole lot to work with, and hence this surprise. It also flies in the face of strength elsewhere. And I wonder if you think some of the strength we've seen, for example, in Twitter's metrics may be a sign that, in fact, there is some rotation going on. Yeah, I, I, you know, Google's, Google's just so effective at, at direct response advertising because, you know, you know when, when someone uh, types in a search term, it, it's sort of a, this is a, you know, intent, very much intent-based based advertising. This is a thing I'm looking for and want to get. So they traditionally haven't uh, seen, uh, uh, you know, people moving away from them toward other less intent-based platforms, more brand-based platforms. So it, it, was, it was strange, and my only guess could be that Amazon, the strength of Amazon's intent-based searches, is starting to take some share from them. And again, Sundar was sort of um, obtuse about some changes they're making to the platform and introducing machine learning and AI that, that might have something to do with it, but he, but he wasn't specific enough about it to, to give us any indication of what was happening there. They're spending an awful lot on uh, competition in the cloud. In fact, headcount growth in the cloud was one of the biggest drivers here of operating expense. Is that something that's going to become more manageable in the, in the future? Are we going to see a difference this year? Well, I, I would expect to start seeing um, <clears throat> their cloud revenues grow significantly. You know, uh, Satya at Microsoft has, has done such a great job there, and uh, that business is growing so effectively. And, and, and Benioff, of course, at Salesforce, has been doing that for a while. It's been a little bit surprising that Google's performance on the cloud-based services hasn't uh, seen the kinds of acceleration that, that, that their competitors have seen. So perhaps what you're seeing there is, is, uh, is Sundar starting to say, look, we've got to get more aggressive here if we're going to compete as successfully as we need to with, with the likes of Microsoft and others, or we're going, to, you know, we're going to be left behind. So that might be what you're seeing there on the spend side from them around cloud-based services. Right, we'll keep an eye on the uh, price action today, as you can see, down almost 9%. Meantime, the Nasdaq seeing a record close yesterday. Uh, down today, momentum overall pretty positive as the tech IPO rush continues. Uber's Mammoth listing is on the way, Slack's direct listing. And just yesterday, Dick, we got news on WeWork's filing. What do you make of this? Uh, all these things coming to the fore in a hurry. Yeah, well, it, it's, I guess it's, it's one of those years. You know, these things seem to go in waves. Um, and you know it was a little bit of a drought the past few years, so they all seem to be coming out this year. Um, and and you know you're seeing um, mostly positive action on these things, with the exception of Lyft. Uh, uh, Pinterest has certainly come, um, you know, came out of 10 billion, and I think is up to 17 and a half billion now. Same thing with same thing with Zoom. So um, with some of the action that you're seeing on the recent IPOs, I think people are saying, okay, it's time. Uh, the timing, you know, it, it's a good time for us to go. Um, the conditions are right. Um, you know, and I think, the, uh, of course, the thing to worry about is, uh, the, or the thing to wonder about is, in the short term, some of these things are getting a little bit out over their skis, uh, you know, up almost 100% in the first couple of weeks. Uh, so, so we'll see what happens with Uber, um, whether, it, whether it looks more like a, a, a Zoom and a Pinterest or whether it looks more like a Lyft. But, you know, it, it, it's a little bit disconcerting to this, see these things take off so much and start trading at 60 times this year's revenues. Uh, and Zoom, for example, has got to be close to that number now, um, which, is, which, which seems pretty aggressive. 
Given your experience at Twitter when it went public and that you weren't the founder of that company, now we're looking at something very similar with Uber. Is there a risk for investors to be placing a big bet on a company uh, and its IPO that's not led by a founder? Are there advantages to it? Listen, Dara is an exceptional CEO. I mean, he's had public company success. He's got a tremendous uh, track record that's well understood as a as a public company CEO. So I don't think there's any I, I don't think there's any issue there. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with it. Whether it you know whether the retail interest in it is 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 excessive and it comes storming out of the gates, or whether it looks more like Lyft. I, I really have no idea what will happen there. Um, Slack will probably look a lot more like a. Uh, what we've seen from some of the recent uh, enterprise software IPOs, like like a Zoom or uh, or an Okta, um, um, where you've seen real strength there, but hard to tell what'll what'll happen with with Uber. But but Dara's an exceptional operating executive. He'll be really clear with the street about what's going on, and uh, and I think that will generally be helpful to Uber shareholders.